What's going on guys, I'm Dom Strider, and today I'm finally delivering on the Q&A video. And this is the result of me hitting 100 subscribers on YouTube, which again, I cannot thank you guys enough for. It really does mean the world for me. And as I said before, we've, we did reach 100 subscribers. I do a Q&A video, guys, and the last video that I posted about the subject, I told you guys to leave your questions for me down in the comments, and you guys did. I've got a couple questions here that I'm going to be answering today in this video, starting with number one. What is your favorite landmark that time has forgotten? Okay, that's a pretty good question, actually. Um, it's actually a pretty hard question. I gotta think about this for a second. Honestly, if I had to pick one, which I that's pretty hard for me to do, if I had to pick one that I've done already, it would most definitely be the Alexian Brothers Novitiate, uh, the abandoned mansion that was in Gresham. Um, I really like this one because it was really just an awesome experience. It was a really big building to go and explore, even though most of it was pretty gutted out by then. It was also a building that had a lot of history to it. Uh, I really enjoyed um, learning about all the history, really all the really messed up history that happened with this particular location. Not only that, I think that uh, it was one of my better done videos in general. Not that that should really have an effect over the place itself, but uh, uh, which it really doesn't, but it is something to kind of factor in is that I was really proud of how that video turned out. And so, yeah, honestly, the best one that I've visited so far would most definitely be the Alexian Brothers Novitiate for all of the history that's behind it, as well as just the size and scope of the place itself. And also another f uh, actor that leads into uh, the charm of the Alexian Brothers Novitiate is the fact that it isn't really all that touristy. Uh, a lot of these places that I've been going to uh, have really kind of just been turned into this giant tourist attraction. Uh, for example, Fayette, which Fayette was still an amazing place, but some of the luster was a little bit lost because of the fact that it was turned into this museum, and so, uh, so a lot of it was just... It, it, it didn't have quite that, like, wow factor for me, I guess, but it was still a really awesome spot, whereas the Alexian Brothers Novitiate didn't have any of that. It, was, it still felt like an abandoned mansion that was kind of just stuck there and it didn't really have as much of a touristy feel than some of the other places that I've done. So yeah, that one would most definitely, definitely be uh, so far my favorite spot that I've done so far. Question number two, how do you get the camera shots of you going in doorways from a second person's point of view even though you are alone? Okay, so this one, pretty easy solution. Uh, I just set up the camera on a tripod and I get the shots for it. That said, my situation for getting those shots is a little bit weird because the camera that I'm working on, that I'm filming this video on right now is actually the camera that I do all my vlogging shots with, aka the meat and potatoes of all my videos. Whereas my walking shots are actually done on another camera, which is this one. It's just a $200 camera that I got off of Amazon. And you might be wondering, well, why don't I just use one camera or the other? Well, that's because each one kind of has their strengths and weaknesses, unfortunately. Uh, for this camera that I'm filming on right now, it's able to get better picture and better audio. However, it actually cannot go onto a tripod because the uh, place that you'd screw the tripod into is actually broken off right now. In fact, I'm actually kind of surprised that it's able to be on a tripod right now without any problems. But usually, usually when I'm out uh, doing these places, it actually does give me a lot of problems. And so that's where this camera has to come in. This camera gets awful audio and really not the best uh, video quality either. Like I can't really zoom in with this camera because of the fact that when I do it, pretty much looks like a grainy matte painting. However, it is the only camera that can actually screw on safely to the tripod. So, yeah. I am looking for a new camera that can actually, you know, just be my camera and so I don't have to lug two of them around and have to be worried about keeping track of two of them all the time. But, fortunately, I kinda gotta save up for that. So, till I can actually get that taken care of, got to deal with the two camera situation. And another reason that I even do the walking shots in general is because I do like to try to add a cinematic feel 
to my videos, at least somewhat, um, as well as the fact that those, uh, that those shots to me feel like uh, good transition pieces, and also I just like doing them. So, yeah. Question number three. What's that background noise? What background noise? Okay, so I so in all seriousness though, I actually am not entirely sure what you're uh, what specifically you're asking about here, but if it's uh, but a lot of the times I have background music in my videos, if maybe that's what you're referring to. If you're wondering where I get my music from, I mostly do audio free tracks though. Lately, I have been dabbling in uh, like tracks from games and stuff like that too. What's the biggest challenge after going on those adventures, and how those adventures have affected your life? both the pros and the cons. Ooh, all right, that one's a, that one's a pretty deep question. So biggest challenge with uh, going on these adventures is probably all the, it is probably all the research that goes into it. There will be a lot of time where there's not a whole lot of information about these places readily available. In fact, a lot of the times that research is not necessarily just the uh, finding of the history of these locations, but another part is even finding out if, you know, the place is accessible or if, uh, if the place even still exists or not. You know, sometimes I'll be looking and I'll find a place that looks really cool, look into it later and find that it's been totally demolished. So that's a huge challenge too, is just, you know, really really finding out the accessibility of these places. As for how these adventures have affected my life, well, they pretty much are the highlights of my life. Not saying that my life doesn't have any other highlights to it too, but they're really the things that I look forward to the most. They're pretty much what keep me going. The pros of these adventures is the fact that like there's exploration, there's, you know, there's a sense of excitement with it. There's, you know, it, it's like discovering this you know, lost and forgotten world that, again, time forgot about. And there's really a sense of, there's a sense of accomplishment and discovery in just finding it for yourself. And that's what I find whenever I go out and do these adventures. That's the biggest pros of it. Um, as for cons, I mean, I can't really think of a whole lot of other cons for the adventures themselves. I mean, yeah, they're really, yeah, I can't think of a whole lot of other cons. So yeah, those have been all the questions that have been asked of me. Now I have a question for all you guys. What do you want to see from me? I mean, I love doing all the abandoned stuff and all that, but uh, is there any other kind of video that I could do that you guys would want to see. Because the thing is that I like to base my channel off of the concept of adventure. So if there's any more kinds of adventures or different kinds of adventures that you guys would think would be interesting, let me know because then I can actually have more ideas for making other types of content for you guys. So if there's something that you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do about it. But yeah, so, Thank you guys so much for helping me reach this huge milestone for me of 100 subscribers. And let's keep pushing on forward. Hopefully in the future we can get, you know, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. I mean, for me, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing this. That's the way that I'm going to be treating my channel is that, you know, this is something that I want to be doing for the long haul. This is something that I'm going to be doing for the long haul, be it as a hobby or hopefully someday as my job. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Take care.